Jump deep, soul. Hello, everyone. Virginia Touch here, and I welcome you back to this VOKK TV series to rediscovering and preserving the Khmer Krom identity. Within the first week of June, a poignant gathering occurs across the globe as our Khmer Krom communities come together to commemorate a day etched in the collective memory of our people. This year marks a solemn remembrance of 74 years of living under the shadow of colonization, specifically under the role of the Vietnamese communist regime. The events organized during this time serve as a powerful testament to the resilience and determination of our Khmer Khrom people as they reflect on the sorrowful chapters of the recent history. It is a time to honor our ancestors, acknowledge our struggles, and renew the commitment to preserve our culture and reclaim their rights. On June 4, 1949, the French colonizers committed a grave injustice by transferring Cambodia Krom, the sacred homeland of the Khmer Krom people in the Mekong Delta, to Vietnamese King Bao Dai, without the consent or consultation of the Khmer Krom, who have been the indigenous inhabitants of this land for centuries. Assimilation, discrimination, and violating their fundamental human rights have been constant companions on their journey. Their struggle intensified when the communist regime from the north took over their homeland on April 30th, 1975, subjecting them to further oppression and marginalization. This act of betrayal stripped the Khmer Krom of their sovereignty. It set in motion a series of challenges that continue to impact their lives to this day. Decades have passed, and the Khmer Krom people still face grave injustices under the communist regime in Vietnam. Their status as indigenous peoples of the Mekong Delta is not officially recognized, denying them the rights and protections afforded to indigenous communities around the world. The right to self-determination, a fundamental principle enshrined in international law and safeguarded by the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, UN DRIP, remains elusive for the Khmer Krom people. In addition to the denial of their rights, the Khmer Krom people also face religious persecution. Their spiritual practices, deeply rooted in their cultural heritage, are heavily regulated and controlled by the Vietnamese government through the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, VBS, a state-sanctioned religious organization. This oppressive environment forces the Khmer Krom people to practice their religion in fear, stifling their ability to freely express their faith and undermining their cultural identity. The Khmer Krom people have shown extraordinary resilience and unwavering determination amidst these hardships. Their voices have refused to be silenced, resonating with a deep desire for justice, recognition, and freedom. At the forefront of the struggle stands the Khmer's Kambodja Krom Federation, KKF, an organization dedicated to advocating for the rights and empowerment of the Khmer Krom people. The KKF plays a crucial role in educating and mobilizing the Khmer Krom community, recognizing the importance of knowledge and awareness. The Khmer Krom activists in Kambodja Krom have taken on the significant task of printing and distributing UN documents, including the UN DRIP. Through these efforts, the KKF empowers the Khmer Krom people to understand their rights, preserve their identity, and assert their rightful place in society. We must not overlook the immense risks faced by those who dare to advocate for their rights. Khmer Krom individuals involved in disseminating information or actively advocating for the community often find themselves subjected to summonses, arbitrary detentions, and even torture at the hands of authorities. Their unwavering commitment to justice and freedom is met with suppression, yet they refuse to be silenced or deterred. Despite these challenges, the Khmer Krom people persist in their struggle. They organize events to commemorate international occasions such as International Women's Day and International Human Rights Day. These gatherings are powerful statements of their resilience, demonstrating their unwavering determination to claim their rightful place in society, and to raise awareness. As we commemorate this historic day, 
let us reaffirm our commitment to stand in solidarity with the Khmer Gnome people. We must amplify their voices, shed light on their struggles, and demand justice for their community. Our collective responsibility is to ensure that the Khmer Gnome people are no longer denied their fundamental human rights or subjected to persecution for expressing their identity or advocating for their rights. As we remember the events of June 4th, let us honor the strength and resilience of the Khmer Gnome people. May their unwavering spirit inspire us to take action, speak out against injustice, and fight alongside them until their rights to self-determination and cultural preservation are recognized and respected. Let us join hands in solidarity and work towards a world where the Khmer Gnome people can live with dignity, equality, and freedom in the sacred homeland, the Mekong Delta. Som Akun, Jamdeep Thank you.